Hello everyone, my name is Alex and Panic and this is another reaction to Origaru. It is season 3 episode 6 and uh, well, we are still here trying to figure out how to get out of this misery with the prom. Um, not sure where it's going, um, we, we seem to have a competition now, which is interesting. So let's just jump in and enjoy. Here we go in 3, 2, 1, now. Walking at the same place we were two episodes ago in the end. An idiot. <laughs> yeah. Both of you are idiots. Give me, get me something to drink. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, subtitles. Lone awaited for the rest of the story. Okay. No subtitles. It's subtitles, so... Oh. Oof. I never realized that there was a happily ever after in the intro song. And there was snow. Hmm, interesting lyrics. Now it's getting interesting. Ah, uh, you already did that before. Hmm. Mm. Nope. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. So it's all about the the bigger class. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I would say so too. So it's an episode about choices. He's going to starve when she's not around. <clears throat> He's just stealing ideas. <clears throat> Okay, I guess that is something normal. Okay. Elementary <laughs> oath. Ah, here we go. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's hip. It's something people would like, you know? Yep.
<laughs> she was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. Now it's Yuki against the rest of the club. <laughs> Create something worse. I can do of them. <laughs> You too. Yes, it is. And funny. Okay. Yeah, that people. <laughs> Poisoning him. I like tomatoes. I don't know what that's about. Wow, that look. Oh, look. <laughs> okay, the white haired group <laughs> kind of makes sense. Okay, he likes it. <laughs> Catching him with anti-prom.
Well, better open up. And he's on board. Oh, she's already there. Damn. Okay, okay, at least. He's just... Where else, right? <laughs> He's just weird. <laughs> That's an interesting thing, I've never seen anything like that. That's a little bit like an... ...cafe, an online cafe. Genetics. <laughs> yeah. Each party. Very romantic. If it's not raining, it's like a perfect place. Did she just fall asleep? And just saying he just uses the other arm now.
Autsch. Oh man, the ending though. Um, <clears throat> so she thinks, knows. I mean, how can anyone know, right? She thinks it's already set in stone that um, it will at least not be her and Hickey, right? Um, I see two options where where she thinks it can go because I'm not completely sure here. Um, either she thinks it is. Uh, sorry, I I have. Uh, as you may hear, I'm having problems with speaking today. Um, um, it's either Hickey and Yuki, or it will be, which is the possibility, none of them together. Just saying, right? Um, so, <clears throat> seeing this as the truth, she tries to think about how to just prolong what is going on, because if she cannot have this fairy tale ending of her and Hickey together, at least she can try to prolong um, this good time of the weird triangle that they have and and their happy times, which still are uh, existing right now. She has a lot of time with Hickey, um, so I can see this. But apart from that, um, what we are doing right now here is, which is in a weird way pretty clever. Um, they are going for an alternative prom. They are going for an even bigger version, um, a ludicrous version, you could say, possibly weird stuff happening. Um, and when present presenting this option, they want to make um, the other side to, to have to choose. So saying, I, we don't want the prom, they have to, the option between a normal prom, which at least you know what's happening, and a completely weird and wacky idea that is out of every discussion, so that they will choose the normal problem that uh, Yuki is setting up. However, <clears throat> I ask myself, what is happening if they choose your version? Just saying. Apart from it may be able to go wacky, um, you would kind of destroy the option that Yuki set up, and thus her um, self said promise to do something on her own, right? Um, so <clears throat> I'm not sure about that. It may go haywire, just saying. Um, I like the idea with the beach. I mean, that's an awesome idea. It's a really, really good idea. Um, considering, hoping it's not raining, you know? Um, talking about raining, there was this interesting sentence in the beginning that... Um, <coughs> I think it was, I think it was Yui as well, um, about when it ends, let it at least be rain and not snow. So it cannot be sunshine, it cannot be a happy ending, um, but she doesn't want it to be snow, she at least wants it to be rain, so while she gets just, you know, drenched, um, at least someone else is having a positive rain, kind of like for the flowers growing and stuff, you know? So, that's... I mean, I have to give it to her, that's a, a view of a good person, which I don't know how many of us would be able to have in such a situation. If I cannot get him, at least um, 
make sure someone gets it who's worth it and has a good time and is feeling better, you know? So, so she's thinking about others as well. I'm pretty sure about Yuki in this case. So it's this weird moment, um, which I can partially understand from uh, from my own past, when a relationship ends, um, you have this weird mixed up feelings towards the other persons um, of, on the one hand, wishing this person like, um, I don't know, go to hell stuff, you know, really like, yeah, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm better off without you. And on the other hand, you still, you were not together with a person without reasons, right? So you have feelings, you had at least feelings, so somewhere you still wish everything good for this person. Not with you anymore, as it seems, but you still wish this person to have a good life. Um, and while having this good life, struggling with it and uh, asking themselves, wouldn't I be better off with this other guy? <laughs> you know, just saying. So here, for um, I, I do understand you in, in uh, some parts. Mm, I'm feeling very sad for her because she is kind of drowning herself in sadness. Um, while trying to live the moment. It's a weird mix. Um, <clears throat> she has kind of given up. Um, I don't know if that is a good or a bad thing. I really can't say. Um, on the one hand, it is bad because you, you should never stop struggling and trying, right? Um, because if you give up, then you, are, then you have lost. Just in the moment when you gave up. Um, if you continue fighting, there is always still a chance. But on the other hand, it's about realism. And... Um, her maybe being correct i don't know man um i i always said that the problem here is the triangle of those three people um and that there's like no solution um when it is about feelings like that but if um one is stepping down like yui is doing now um if she's doing it more actively right now she's not then there might be a chance that there will be a couple in the end, and yes, a Yui without anyone. Um, however, her stepping down inside of herself doesn't mean she does it on the outside. On the outside, she does right, quite the opposite right now, and I don't know if she's aware of it. Um, but she thinks she has lost the fight, kind of. She's spending more time with Hickey. She is um, cuddling with him. He is being very gentle towards her as we've seen in the end when he just used his left arm to, to use the computer anymore so that she can sleep on uh, he put a blanket over her and stuff like that right so from his point of view it might very well be that um, this day they spent together here working together will bring them closer instead of um, separating them you know so it might go the other way around we don't know and Iroha um so she does it at least partially for sending off the older semesters, which is our three major characters. Um, I don't know if she does it for Hiratsuka as much as she says, um, but she is an important part of it as well. Um, I'm not completely sure what this is for, right? So we will see. But we are moving on, we are moving along. Um, but yeah, it feels like this um, whole storyline is, and, and thus the whole, not only season, but the whole series is moving towards kind of an end, maybe with the prom the end. Maybe we'll have a clear ending, uh, which we didn't have in the second season. Um, having been able to finally read the uh, intro credits, um, it feels like the intro itself kind of points into a real finish. Um, I don't know, we will see where this goes. I'm looking forward to see. That's it for me this time. I hope you liked, and I will see you the next time. Until then, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. My name is Flex and Panic. Goodbye, and out.